Florida tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Five wide. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. Across midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 46. He showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the things we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. He's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 31. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Dog four. Yellow three. He's tackled at the 23 yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That brings up fourth and three. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Missouri could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three nothing, Missouri. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Gators have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. From their own 29-yard line, Second down. Let's go! And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Scrambled. Tackle made right around the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Nice run up the middle. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, 
First down. He's hit and got away. He fights forward to about the 40. That'll make it second to seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 40. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Scrambling around. They bring him down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Missouri holds a field goal lead. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 25 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He's scrambling, got the corner, and he's taken down at about the 27 yard line. That makes it third and three. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run, and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. An incredible series for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Oh, excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Set, down. Run, 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 run. He makes his way out to about the 35. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. The Tigers with a three-point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Set. Red 18. Check, check. They'll bring him down at the 49. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Set. Green 88. Slings it. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 33-yard line, first down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ready. And down he goes at the 32. He's 
taken down at the 16-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and 10, ball on the 16. Three down, three down. Mike A, Mike A. Here we go. Green 19. Check, check. Spire. Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. He's taken off. Touchdown, Gators. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Mike 12, Mike 12. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. hard at the 43 yard line. Fires quick. He's got another one. Tackle made around the 44 yard line. it to the 34. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 28. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Quick, he catches another. That makes it fourth and eight. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 7-6, Florida. Missouri is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida with a one-point lead. He makes it to the 28-yard line, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. 
That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires to his receiver, first down. Knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. Zips it to the back. Tackle at about the 41. He sails it long. Oh, and he can't hold on. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So on third down, they come away with a first down on the option play. Third and short, and the defense almost had them stopped. But the offense got just enough to move the chains. He passes it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. It's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Mike 12, Mike 12. I'm coming. Go for it. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Easy, They come out in a five-wide set. Here comes the pressure. Runs with it, and he's got room. Good tackle there in space. He's going to try and scramble. Kill, kill, kill. Shoot. Yellow three. Check nine, check nine. Yellow three. Red Go. two. Fires quick. Tipped. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. This one should be makeable. Missouri can take the lead here with this field goal. Kicks up. And it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Florida's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. We've still got a half of football remaining. Missouri's leading by two. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play. 
and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to – to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a deal of 20. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Solo out there. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. They bring him down in the backfield. out quickly to the tailback and they get him in the backfield for a loss third down now and they need to get it inside the 45 Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. Number 21 makes the stop at the 22-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Ready. Red 18. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. That's a deal six on the line. Fourth down. Florida is trying to take the lead here. It's up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, across the 30, brought down at the 40. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's stopped behind the line. 
this is going on. That'll bring up second and 11. Mike 12. Great check. Motion. And he's level at the 37 yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. And he is drilled at the 29. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Gators struggled in that first half, but they've come out here in this third quarter on fire. I would have loved to have heard the halftime speech because this head coach is a demanding head coach. Clearly, he was not happy with the first half. Whatever he said has fired his team up, and they look like a different team here in the second half. Florida, up a point. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. Second and 12 coming up here. All on their own 30. He scrambled. And he shoved out of bounds at the 32. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Taken down around the 46 yard line. Completes it and he's hit hard immediately. That makes it second and six. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Makes it 37. Larry, Larry, Larry. Key 15, key 15. Hey, hey kill, nine, kill, kill. Nine. Black five. Black and he just gets rid of it. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Missouri can take the lead here with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Oklahoma! And he picked up almost.
almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. The Tigers in front by two. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down. Nice run up the middle. That's good for him. Five yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Ready. Right. 68. Check, check. Spire. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Ready. Check, check. Box two. Box two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Ready. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes, right around the 30. Call it a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They bring the quarterback down. Tenth play of the drive. He's at the 20, and it's caught. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. That's a game of 26 on the play. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 15. Three down, three down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it seven. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This 
should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. The Gators and their team pretty happy with that field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. I think you got to go back to the drive. Uh, the kick was clutch, but I think what the quarterback did and the offense did was even more impressive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That'll bring up second and 11. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 36. Just over a minute left. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. A great defensive end in, in college kill, football kill, just kill. pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They come out on an empty backfield. Red two, X seven. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Five wide. He goes downtown. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it. And that'll mean a victory. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Missouri's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Florida with a one-point lead. And the quarterback going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Missouri will use their final timeout. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Florida, 13, Missouri, 12. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.